Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I want to do the update for the mid sized grow tent. Did some harvesting off it today and then uh, just kind of a general update of what's been happening inside of it. Alright, let me grab the camera. Got a little background music there from Aaron Lewis. Thought I'd just leave it playing while I uh, did my updates. So down here doing some harvesting and you'll see in the other video I post up today, I decided to show kind of like what we harvested off the beta greens. So what I've been doing is uh, I've just been kind of coming in here and doing some grazing where I basically just take a tray out, I'll cut it off, and then I just stick it right back where it was. And then uh, you can see it here, this one here, it's been, you know, chopped today. This one over here, I chopped just a little bit off of it because it looks like it's a little further behind. So I, uh, I only took a little bit off of this. And then, uh, you know, we got our new seeded greens. They're doing well. I mean, they're coming up. This is the DMR. So uh, it's starting to fill in nice. Should be eating on that in another week or two. And we got the gourmet lettuce blend here. You know, they're coming in nice. Got some nice growth. Keeping them nice and moist. Not over moist though, because they got they do have the draining trays and then they drain into these trays and come down here. I need to empty out the, the tray from last night because I did uh, water yesterday. But uh, all the new seeded trays seem to be doing well. Even this one down here in the center, it seems to be bouncing back now that I've put it on the lower level. And you can see, you can look at the difference between last week and this week. There is a lot of, you know, new, bigger leaf growth here. I think I'll probably end up swapping it with this Yankee Hardy over here tonight. So that way I'll get him underneath a direct light over here. Whereas, you know, you can see the light there. There's a little gap there between the two. So that can hinder that growth a little bit. But uh, mid-sized tent seems to be doing really well. It's starting to stay a little warmer in here because I turned the, like I last week I mentioned that, uh, I was going to take these lights and I was going to start cycling them on a different cycle. And so uh, I started taking uh, this one here and this one here comes on during the day. So it's staying on and keeping these plants warm during the day and it keeps this storage area probably about 10 degrees warmer than if I do it the other way around and just letting it go. Everything run at night so it has lower energy costs but I'd rather have the warmth in here to keep the plants growing so that I have seen some growth coming off those plants. So, you know, by taking those and cycling that at a different temperature, or not temperature, but a different light cycle, it gives me the ability to, to kind of moderate the temperatures inside of here. So, it seems to be doing pretty nice. I mean, you know, I haven't had any uh, adverse effects happening inside this tent. All right. Well, this is kind of the update for this week for the, uh, the mid-sized tent. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. Hope you're having a great holidays. All right. Bye.